Hallo Dirk. Hallo. Wie geht's? Ich bin gut. <lacht> Danke. Äh, möcht, will, willst du mal drehen, dass die Leute können sehen, was du für Haar hast? Ja, aber drehen. Ja. Dirk turns around to show you what his hair is now. And he wants to get back to red and black and short at the sides. Richtig. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hello friends on YouTube. Come do Derek's hair. And uh, you will not be totally different from what he is, but it's always uh, a challenge to do his hair. And he's a nice guy, so why not? Give him a purple ring. No, purple okay. cape. Start of course with protection. Now I'm going to make the sides new short and uh, the lines totally fresh and we will color it in a, a, a wonderful deep red and a black tone and the sides will be also in a dark tone. So I start with uh, my clipper cuts on the sides. Cut her a bit, not too much, just so I can make hard lines in it. Dirk is growing one side so he leaves a little bit hair on this side longer, but the rest will be totally short. Part new, fresh lines. And you want both sides the same. Part me a new line, because this is a short side, so I take a little bit off of this length. With my clipper and a comb, I start my hair cut. Be aware that this part should stay longer. So I part this with my comb. Put my blade to the back and use it as a comb. Make nice soft underlines. And connect the underlines to the line I just did with a comb. Put my blade in the sharpest position to make a strong contour line. Put back in the comb position and work up. And the flatter I hold it, that's the shorter the hair is. Coming to the back, again take my comb to work to the parting line. The nice thing about working with a comb is you can put the hair straight up because you can lean on the sides of the hairs. And with a clip of comb you can do that. So I follow the lines and go in the opposite lines and leaning on the sides of it. This way I'm certain that I have nice flowing lines that grow back very nicely. On the sharpest position I make a wonderful strong but even soft line. So I travel up from nothing into something. Coming on the center line and work till I get there and not to go to the other side. First I have to part that. Do side by side. Clean the contour with my small clipper. I'm not going to shave it now because uh, then it gets irritated by the color. Don't want that to happen. I will color the black in Sioux colors. They have a wonderful black and a blue black, so it gets ultra strong colors of that. This is my first side. Pipe myself a new strong line. 
connect it to the back holding it to the side so it get nice center in this hairstyle Lay the hairs down start again with my comb The start of his hair above here is about 3 mm and from the bottom up is from 0 to 3 mm. This way it grows back very nicely and soft and you don't have hard lines like you do when you just use the clipper. A hairstyle doing this is lasting a lot longer. Again, leaning to the sides of the hair, going the opposite way. Always using the eyebrow bone as a guide. Put my blades to the back. connecting to the hairs I did with the comb and this by combing with my clipper leaning on the under part of the clipper and just watch what it does by the colors you see if you have uh, the right length or not walking out there where the skull is bending to the center. Cleaning the circle around this here. Now I have my blade on the sharpest position, so I have just one millimeter on the contour line. Nice soft up. And with my smallest clipper, I clean the contour. Not leaning on the blades because then the skin gets irritated and it's difficult to get the color out. So far the shaving part, he has to comb the hair out, he wants his bang again in a shape. His hair is uh, in a good condition, just the ends are a bit dry. Both sides shall be as the same length, so I part it over the center line. Just lay it down. The bang is starting on the fontanelle. So I have to part it again. It starts here, and lays it in an angle. The same on this side, it's growing a lot since the last time. Wet the hair a bit. Now it's summertime and the ends are a bit dry, so I will cut them with a new hot scissor of Jaguar. Hot scissor of Jaguar, it looks like this. I was set a photo into it. I put it on 140 degrees, pull the hair straight down, take up about one half centimeter. This seals the ends and it will be closed for about four months so all the hair grows it grows back but then in a wonderful condition 
Derek wants to wear his hair also on the tail, so that's why you need this length. But it gives also a wonderful mohawk. Travel back the same way. Come to the right side of Derek's hair. Lay it in the same line. And travel back the same way. Delicate again on the center of the skull line. To be sure that the lengths are all the same, I take it up on the top and control that. Take up in the center. Take it up and just take off the ends and connect them to each other. There is bang, he wants to leave the length as long as possible, so I start on the center line, take a little part off, then I'm bending it in the line of his eyebrow, and now I'm going to work off. Afterwards, when his hair is done, colored, I will control this line again, but we're leaving it this length. Again, I work with hot scissor, so the condition of the hair will be wonderful afterwards. And it's very easy to work with a hot scissor because the, sheet, the blades are protected. So you don't feel anything of the warmth yourself. Just here the hissing of the blades. The same I do on the other side. Bending the hairs to the side. Go to my connection point on the center. And work to the sides. The same I do on the other side, bending the hairs to the side, go to my connection point on the center and work to the sides. I mix it in my bowl. First work till I get to the parting center. To the line apart, so there I work. Because this upper hair is in red and black. I work till there. Nice thing about the colors of both uh, uh, factories are that there is no uh, ammonia in it, no parabene, so it's a, a nice color and not bad for the skin. The same on the other side, although I know that this is the dark side, so I can work a little bit easier on the parting line. Walk back. The nice thing about the black curls is you can see them developing very easy. So you can see if you touch everything, the colors are on all the right spots. Laying a foil over the black line. Let's start with the red color. 
part is in two parts one to the left and one to the right mix my red color start on top not bleaching the hair because that would damage the hair too much then we go for the underline stay away from the black because that will be purple when I put the red on it and so I will color both sides black and red ok now I close my plastic foil and we'll wait for 30 minutes and we don't need heat because it's warm in Holland so take off, escape also because it's warm in Holland and we see each other after we rinse it out hello we're back from coloring now Derek has two colors red and black now I'm going to blow dry it the first product I'm going to use is thickening it's a filler by Lakme and it makes hair also also strong This is a product that comes through your hair. Put your hair up with a ultra light brush. Start on the center line. Lifting it and polishing with the ends. The nice thing is because I did it with a hot sensor, the ends are now closed, so it don't stuck at the end. It's ultra smooth. I will blow the red color into the dark color so it has a stronger effect. Come to his bang, then I do with a small brush, polishing the ends. Then the longer hair is aside. Nice in the shape. Now for coming against, I use a dry shampoo and styling in one. It's a, a dirty angel of rofer hair. You have to shake it well before you use it. It's ultra good product for people with thin hair and older people. It's also when you want to stick up the hairs, a wonderful product to get a lot of volume in. And it makes the hair a little bit rough, so you can come against them very easily. It's a powder based product, mostly I comb it through the hair and then start combing against. Combing against I start on the dark color. The nice thing I don't need to use a lot of force to hold the hairs high. They stand up very easily. Once the part is hair, so one part to the left side, one part to the right side. So now I work it up that way. First on the lines to get some grip and make sure the comb against in the underlines is gone. Comb the hair gently up.
take an ultra strong hairspray and that's the heart of Lac May. Now comb the hair from the other side in. Gently pulling it up. Make sure the later side. Bring them together because I have to get a strong line. And the more air there is in the hair, that's the weaker. And for shoulders. By blow blowing on the hair, it gets easier the shape and hold it. The hairspray dries down a little bit faster. Now I have to start on the inner side because otherwise I can't reach the, pro uh, the inner side anymore. Gently brushing the hair, not too thick, it, deep in. The ultra strong hard hairspray of Lacme. Blow dryer stabilize the lines, make sure they get strong. Now do the same on the inside, fixate it. And I'm sure it don't blow it away. Come to his bank. Nicely laid in the shape. Minor corrections. Also, Gerald, I put a little bit of hairspray. For this part on the side, I use a little bit of wax. This is Derek's new hairstyle and color. Yeah. That should do it in Germany. <laughs> sure. Derek, can you just turn around? Yeah. Or you turn for you in the rest of the world?
You have lovely wings now. Schöne Flügel. Dankeschön. Ja.